pore primer today I'm using Smashback's photo finish primer and this is an oil free primer so I'm gonna take a little bit um, like this so I'm just gonna apply it to the face really quick feels very nice and also it has a little bit of silicone feeling brows are already done and so I'm gonna move on to the eyes for eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the Rumen number no. 2 from P. Louise since I don't have a new primer. So let's go ahead and dive into this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be using the uh, Pamagraph Divinity palette. So I did do a makeup tutorial for you guys with this palette before and so I'm going to dip right back in. So I'm going to take the shade Major Mahogany. I'm going to use that as my uh, crease shadow. Alright, and this palette is extremely uh, pigmented. So I'll take another um, brush and then I will go in with the pink shadow so that I can soften up the dark one. This pink shadow is Dragonfly, I believe this one. It's called Dragonfly. I'm just going to use that to um, to blend the edges of my shadow without adding additional um, shadows on there. I'm just going to go ahead and blend the crease making sure that I'm marrying these two colors together. And it is blending out very well. You know Ente Pat don't play with her formula. Her shadows are very soft, very very blendable, easy to work with always no hustle and of course the formulation that she has is um, one of the best on the market even though her brand is an elite brand the shadows are extremely expensive but you do get your money's worth so let's go ahead and cut the crease and then we can move on to the next shadow i'm gonna cut my crease off camera i have a video here on how I cut my crease so if you would like to see how I do the cut creases then watch this video that I'm going to put up on the screen either here or up on the screen here now I have my crease cut I am thinking on what shade to use tonight I'll pick this purple shadow right here up here and I'm going to take it on this brush the shader brush fluffy brush and let's see how this comes out all right so the purple shade is called bronze bronze nebula and then i'll take the shade luna champagne well i hope that's the shade and i'm going to go back in with this um purple shadow For mascara, I'm using Pamagraph Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is my first time using it. And I think it extended my lashes very well. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let me give you guys a close-up. It really did extend my lashes. I really love it. I love this more than my Fenty mascara. I won't do my bottom lashes until I get done with the honor eye. So yes, I, I will be right back once I have my lashes on. My eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to the face. But before I do that, I would like to moisturize my face with this Honey Halo um, Moisturizer from Pharmacy. It's their Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer. And so I'm just going to take, uh, there's a little spat, uh, flat, uh, whatever, I won't say spatula, but spatula kind of thing that you use to take the product out. And so I'll go like this. And just take that a little bit. This is so hydrating, so I don't want to uh, use a lot. I've been loving it. 
Uh, this is just this is my second jar. I bought some I think two months ago or three months ago I should say and I've been loving it It is really hydrating You can see the hydration on my face You can see the moisture on my face how the um, Moisturizer has really moisturized my face It doesn't feel like a cream just sitting on your face. It feels like it is also into the skin, but it feels really good. Um, I think it has citric acid in it or something because it has some lemon um, scent smell to it. So yeah, I'm going extra with these lashes. Um, I will tell you guys where the lashes are from. I'm trying it. <laughs> I can't give the secret out right now, but I'm trying it and I will let you guys know in a couple of videos down the line. So just hang on there and I'll tell you what the lashes are from. So I'm using this primer from VDL. It is their uh, Lumin Layer. It's their Lumin Layer Primer. And the brand is VDL. This is a Korean brand. So I believe it's a lum luminizing primer. So it's gonna take a little bit. And I used a Smashbox primer earlier, but I'm using this again as a second base because um, I forgot and cleaned my face with uh, makeup removal wipes after I did my eyes. So for eyeliner, I use my Sephora High Precision Eyeliner in 01 Noir, which is black. And then I also went in with my uh, Epic Wear Waterproof Liquid Liner, Eye and Body Liner from NYX Cosmetics. This is uh, the white line that I put on my uh, eye line, that I line my eye with, I should say. So I moisturized the face, now moving on. Oh, look how shiny my face is, and I love that. So I have been loving this foundation. This is the NARS. Um, soft matte complete foundation and the shade i'm in in this one is macau i think it is a little bit dark but um i'll stick with it let me go ahead and shake it for a little bit i'm not gonna put too much on yes i'm crying now my tears are made of makeup i'm gonna i'm gonna take my sephora 88 Pro uh, slanted buffing brush and I'm gonna buff this uh, foundation. I did forget to color correct, but that's okay. So this foundation dries very fast. It looks like it's a full coverage foundation. And the reason I say it's full coverage is because of the way it has covered my freckles. Actually, it is not full coverage. It is buildable full coverage. Um, I can still see some of my freckles peeking out. So do you guys, what do you guys think about this foundation? I think it's a little dark. So yeah, this is looking really good. So it has blended out perfectly and I like the way it is looking. I'm going to be trying the Pat McGrath concealer. This is my first time trying this as well and the shade is MD22. I think this is a little bit dark and I don't like that. I love a good highlight. And this concealer is a full coverage uh, concealer. This is her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer, but I did not get a highlighter shade. So I'm gonna take this um, Real Techniques brush and blend out this concealer. I am filming in front of my vanity today, and it is really weird. I changed my um, settings, my filming settings, 
and so it looks kind of weird it feels weird um, and for some reason I don't think that the quality of my video is okay but I'm going with it anyway yeah so this doesn't give me that highlighted look but I will see if I can use a lighter um, powder in order to highlight the area but yeah this is how the concealer looks I think I blend it out seamlessly, but for some reason, I think I'm feeling like, um, like, you know how you, uh, chew on a mint and you have that little burning sensation. That's what's happening underneath my eye here. And like I said, this is my first time, a uh, first impression of me using this concealer and this is what I'm experiencing. But hopefully it doesn't mean anything. Hopefully that sensation is going to go away. I'm just going to conceal my, um, small lines as well and conceal my chin area so I'll go back in with the brush so now that I've used the concealer I'm going to set my honor eye there are two kinds of setting powder that she has, but I took the loose setting powder instead. And this is how the packaging is. This is how it looks. And of course, I don't know if I show you guys the concealer. That's the concealer. And this the packaging, very luxurious. This is not a, a new launch product uh, is it's not a newly launched product it's been around so I got another setting powder this is the Huda Beauty Kanufa set well it's the Huda Beauty easy big loose setting powder in Kanufa this is one of the products that I have now I have been dying to to lay my hands on and I finally got it launched last year I believe but I, I'm just getting to it but I have really wanted to get get this product so let's see if my skin likes it this is how it is packaged like this covers like this opens like this and somehow okay so this one I can use on my under eye So I, since I never had a new bronzer, I went ahead and bronzed my face with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, bronzer in the shade Mahogany. And so I'm taking my Patrice Styles um, eyeline, gel eyeline pencil. It's called Black. Yeah. So I'm going to line my waterline with it. It is really black. Okay, I'm gonna do my lower lash line. And I'm just taking this uh, matte eyeliner again from NYX Cosmetics and I'm contouring my inner eye. Okay, to set my face, I'll be using my uh, airbrush flawless setting spray. Party all night, stay all day from Charlotte Tilbury. The setting spray smells really nice. So I'm just gonna use this Juvia's Place um, Lux Liner Scorpio. So creamy. And I'm going in with this highlighter from Fenty. This is her new Diamond Bomb all over Diamond View um, 
Rose Wraith, I believe the name is Rose Wraith. This is a super fine 3D spackle for face and body. So let's see. And the packaging is so cute. Out of here. Yeah. I'll just take a Muffy M531 brush and I will use that as a highlighter brush. So this is how it is. Doesn't look like an overpowering um, highlighter, but it is a glitter kind of finish, but it's beautiful. And more like of a dry uh, formula. It's not picking up much on my finger either and it's not picking up too much on the brush but it is beautiful so it gives that beautiful glow to the skin okay so let's finish this up with a lip let's see what do I have my lip I don't know my new vanity I have everything uh, restructured and I don't know where I have my lipsticks I'm gonna finish up this look with Paco 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 from NARS called Paco Paco. It's one of their audacious lipsticks I believe. So this is the finished look. 